Hey guys, it's the Gonzi Timber again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm really excited because I'm going to continue the videos with AR foundation and face tracking. I'm going to be showing you what you see playing behind the scenes, which is a demo that I created to determine when the face is showing and when the face is hiding. So to do that, we're going to be looking at the events that are available in the AR face manager. I'm also going to be showing you what events are available in the AR face. So let's jump into Unity and start looking at it. All right, guys, so let me show you why we need to understand the events that get emitted from either the face manager or the actual face itself. So I'm going to show you some of these events by basically displaying what we see on the screen. I'm going to be displaying in a log what events I'm getting and then the state of the tracker for the face tracking. So let's go ahead and jump into the code and I'm going to show you a couple of things. So this is the example that I show you on the previous video I, I basically have a face that shows and I am avoiding objects as they are getting into you know in the way of my face so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a method here that is called faces change so what I what I recommend that you look at is look at the face manager and I'm gonna be putting this also in github so just don't hesitate to look at it in github it's gonna be available in about a week from today for you know everybody in github otherwise you can get it in patreon right away but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how we can get the face manager and if you haven't looked at how the face manager I would recommend that you look at the videos about face you know face tracking where I go through some of these components from the ground up but just know that there's a face manager associated there's gonna be a face that get basically a mesh that gets instantiated and based on that mesh we're gonna be tracking the state so this script right here is attached to the to one of the components that has the face manager and the face manager i'm getting that's what i'm getting right here so let's say that you wanted to track you know if the face was added if the face was updated or if the face was was basically removed so what i'm going to do is i can do that by you know attaching this event handler which i have right here face manager the faces changes and then faces change gets executed as soon as the the framework sees a change you know let's say that i'm recording a video and then my kid is next to me his face shows up then that's going to be a new face that gets added to a list so the way that you can do this is you you know you basically extend these have this method that is associated with a handler and then the handler will get executed then you get the argument the argument is going to be of this type which is ar faces change events arcs you can then look at different components here there are different lists and these lists have AR faces, so if a new face gets added, the face is going to be added to this, to the count, basically to this list. If the, if the face gets removed, it's going to be added to this list. And then, you know, if the face gets then updated, it's going to be added to the updated list. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something as simple as, you know, I'm just going to be checking the count. And I'm going to do that for faces added. I'm also going to be doing that for faces updated. And I'm also going to be doing the four faces removed. So what I want to know is I want to know the ID of the face. So if you have two faces on the screen, or let's say that the AR face manager count, it's, you know, it's, it's basically greater than one. In my case, I'm only tracking one face, but let's say that you wanted to track two faces or three faces, you can do that. And then just know that you're going to have to keep track of these faces depending on your use cases. In my case, it's just going to be one face. So I'm just going to be logging that information so you guys can see what it's going to be displaying. It's going to say instance. And this instance, I'm just going to say log info. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, you know what? I want to know how many, you know, I actually want to know the trackable ID of this face so that we can display it on the canvas. So I'm just going to be using the interpolation here. And I'm going to say face. And we can say add it. And then we can also have the ID with trackable with trackable id and then the id is going to be basically the id that i'm getting from the from the face that gets added in my case it's just going to be one face so i know the index one it's going to have my face and then i can just grab the trackable component which is going to be the trackable id and this trackable id has two different ids so i'm just going to be grabbing the first one and then we can do something similar with the other one and i'm also going to be doing something similar with this one we can also say, you know, change this one to update it since we're looking at the updated. And then we can also do, you know, when the face gets removed, then we're going to be seeing that event. So what I'm going to do is this is going to happen at the face manager level. So face manager is the one responsible for tracking basically the faces that get detected. But 
each one of these components, if we look at, for instance, this one, and we do something like a AR phase and AR phase, and I can, you know, I can just get the phase at index zero. So if we look at this phase itself, this is the phase that has the mesh. This is gonna be the component on the generated phase, which is the same component that I'm referencing right here. So the reason why I think this is important for you to know is that the phase manager is the one handling all the phases. The AR phase itself is gonna be the phase that gets detected. So how do we get the AR phase? That's basically what I have in here. If we go back into Unity and you look at this a the phase mesh that I have as a prefab, if I double click on it, this component has an AR phase, and this is the one that is going to know about the, the mesh that got generated and any information about that instance of AR phase. So what I want to know is I want to know the state, the tracking state of that phase. And the reason why that is important is because let's say that I, I'm showing the phase at one point and then I hide, I show I hide. I want to be able to track, you know, whether I'm tracking the phase, where I'm not tracking the phase. And that's important because if you have an experience where you relied on the face tracking to, you know, be tracking a face, let's say that you don't you don't see the face anymore on the screen, so you want to do something with it, right? There might be some use cases where you may want to show a menu and say, you know what, we lost track of the face, you know, we're we're gonna be stopping the the session, and then as soon as a face shows up, then you can resume the experience. So one way that we can do that is if we go into my play manager here which has an AR phase in this case, if I look at this component, this component has a play manager, I'm getting the AR phase. So this component is gonna know anything that happens with that specific instance of the phase. So one thing that I can do here, if I look at the phase, if we look at this component here, on the awake method, I'm getting the AR phase component. And then I'm also binding to the updated method. So I have this updated method that gets executed as soon as the updated method gets emitted. As soon as that event gets emitted, I'm going to be calling this method. And then in this case, I'm basically updating face gestures because I'm, I'm looking at blank location. But in this, in this case, I don't really care about that right now. All I really care about is the events that get emitted by the face, by the face component. So that's what I wanna show you. So let's say that you wanna know what happened with the face because the face is no longer on the screen. So you can do something like this. You can say, you know what? I want to look at the tracking state, and if the tracking state it's going to be, you know, it's currently tracking, then I want to, at that point, I can just, you know, continue on the experience, and I can do something like, in this case, I'm just going to use, you know, the logger. I can just say logger.info. We can say phase, I, we can just say phase is currently tracking, and we can also put the ID if we wanted to, so I can do, I'm actually going to do that. So we can have the ID as well. I can also get the ID by just, you know, getting the instance of the face and then looking at the trackable ID, same, same way I did it on the, on the other script. And then another thing that I can also do is let's say that we lost tracking because, you know, we're no longer on the frame of the camera. Then we can do something like, you know, we have limited, we have limited tracking. So we can just say faces, we can just say, currently we can just say face is currently tracking with id i want to make sure this makes sense and then we can say face is tracking face is not tracking or we can just say face has limited tracking and then in this case you can do something like like i said you can hide the experience show a menu or you know or, or maybe show it but change the way that the experience work so because we're gonna have limited tracking, you wanna make sure maybe the lights are too dark or the phone doesn't support it or the phone doesn't have a good camera. I don't know, there could be many use cases for that. But the other one that I can do as well, let's say that we're not tracking at all. Maybe we don't support it or, or the tracking just doesn't really work. We can just say face tracking. We can just face is currently not tracking at all. We can just say ID of the actual face. So. These are just three different states that are going to be beneficial for you because if you have this information, then you can do something like, like I say, show, show something on the menu, change the experience. But so two other components that I'm just going to give you an overview of what we just did. If we go back to the, you know, to the actual component that is tracking, you know, that is getting the AR phase manager, which in my case is going to be the movement. This is gonna be the one where you can track, you know, when the faces get added, when they get updated, when they get removed. Very important stuff to have, so make sure that you, you understand that process. 
And then the last process is on the AR face itself. Once you have the face detected, how can you track whether the face is getting detected or not? If you have tracking, if you have limited tracking, or if you don't have tracking at all after a face was added. So that's everything that I wanted to show you guys. I'm gonna be, you know, like I said, putting this in Patreon. So make sure you check that out. And if you have additional questions, like I said, always let me know in the comments. Thank you. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video today. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions about anything that I just showed you, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out LearnXR.io where I'm doing VR training and also upcoming AR training. And also make sure to check out my patreon.com site where I'm basically posting early access source code and also what I'm doing behind the scenes. Thank you very much, guys.